Hi, this is Rafiq Suleiman, and you are watching Cloud Simplified. Hi, everyone, and welcome to another lesson from the Cloud Practitioner Express. In this lesson, we carry on with the important topic that we started talking about security. And in this lesson, we're going to talk about two of the very important services when we talk about security. We are going to talk about the first service called the WAF and the second service called the AWS Shield. So let's start with the first one, the AWS WAF or the Web Application Firewall. If you remember and if you recall, when we talked about networking, we talked about networking security and we explained two virtual firewalls, if you remember. We explained network access control list, which is to protect my entire subnet. And we also explained something called the security group. And this was to protect my instance. So if you remember, these two were virtual firewalls. So now maybe the question that comes to your mind, Rafi, why do I need another firewall here? And let me explain. From the name you can understand, the AWS Web Application Firewall. So this firewall, this is a special firewall because this is for the web traffic that we have. If you remember, the network access control list and the security group, these firewalls, they were what we call layer three and layer four firewalls, which means I can permit or I can deny the traffic based on IP addresses, layer three, and port numbers, which is layer four. But these firewalls, they don't have the intelligence to see what's above the layer three and layer four. And that's why I need another service. I need another firewall that can even understand based on the web traffic, based on layer seven, based on the application traffic that I can have. So this web, uh, sorry, this AWS WAF, the Web Application Firewall, as we explained, this is the abbreviation. So it stands for Web Application Firewall that lets you monitor the HTTP, the web traffic. So maybe port 80 and port 443 requests. And then, very, very important, and these are the keywords for the exam. So the WAF will protect against malicious traffic, such as what we call SQL injection, and cross-site scripting or XSS. So now, if in the exam, you have this kind of question, what is the name of the service that can help me protect against SQL injection and XSS or cross-site scripting? And that's a very famous question in the exam. Now the keyword is very good AWS WAF. So as to explain, the WAF is a bit of a more intelligent firewall that can detect up to the layer seven attacks, like what? Like SQL injection and like uh, cross-site scripting or XSS. So this is for the WAF. The next one, talking about AWS Shield. And very important to understand, the Shield as a service, this is to protect against a very crucial attack, which is what we call the DDoS attacks or this is the distributed denial of service. So let me give you a brief of history. What exactly is DOS attacks or DDoS attacks? And let's start with the DOS attacks. We started by having what we call a denial of service attack, which means now I have an attacker and this attacker, let's say, they want to penetrate inside this application, they want to compromise it. And let's say maybe the application is secure, they cannot penetrate. So if they cannot penetrate, now they are thinking about something. You know what? If we cannot penetrate, then just let's bring it down. Let's bring the service down. So the first type of these attacks were, now we have an attacker and this attacker will be sending millions and thousands of packets to this server IP address. And this server now will be completely busy to reply back to this attacker. And this is how they were doing the first level of denial of service 
attacks. But then we were able to understand there is something wrong here. We are getting thousands of messages from a single IP address, which doesn't make sense. So we were able to protect against the denial of service, the, uh, the first generation of these attacks by doing what we call rate limiting. Rate limiting means it doesn't make sense that maybe one user will send, just as an example, more than a thousand packets per second. So what we can do if more than this, let me rate limit. But then this attack got more and more improved with what we call the distributed denial of service. So attackers now, they have created a new enhanced way to, uh, to attack. And this is by what we call distributed denial of service. Now, this one was protected because it's coming from a single IP. And now what they have in the distributed one, they have multiple bots like this, maybe hundreds or thousands of bots across the entire globe. And then at a certain point, this attacker here will instruct, will give the command to all of these bots to start sending thousands of attacks. But now in this one here, it's coming from multiple IP addresses. So now this is why this DDoS attack is something very, very serious and it can really bring lots of problems to your infrastructure. And for this, how can we protect against the DDoS attacks? Here comes this service from AWS called AWS Shield. So the moment in your exam, you see questions about DDoS attacks, how can I protect against DDoS attacks? Always remember Shield. So AWS Shield provides two levels of protection. Now, it might be another question because we have two levels of protection from Shield. The first level is what we call Shield Standard. And Shield Standard, this comes at no additional cost. So it comes whenever you have your application on AWS and it comes with no additional cost. And this will defend against the most common, frequently occurring network and transport layer DDoS attacks. So this Shield Standard is a basic one it comes with no additional cost that can uh, protect against the network and transport layer DDoS attacks. But then if you have a more sophisticated DDoS attacks here, now maybe you need to go for the second type of protection. And this is what we call the Shield Advanced. But please pay attention, Shield Advanced, it's not offered with no additional cost. Shield Advanced, you need to pay for it. But then, if you have a Shield Advanced, and that's definitely what AWS is recommending, because with Shield Advanced, you protect against the advanced attacks. So now it's not only layer three and layer four, like the Shield standard. So now if you have a more sophisticated and more complicated uh, DDoS attacks, Shield Advanced definitely can help you. Plus, maybe this is a keyword in your exam as well, Shield Advanced, can offer you access to what we call the SRT team. And the SRT, this is a shield response team. And this is a team of security expert engineers inside AWS specialized in DDoS attacks. So this team can help you in the case of they're suspecting there is an attack that is coming, for example, and how at the time of the attack, how you can get protected against these complicated uh, kinds of attacks. Very good. With this, we come to the end of this session. And let me brief, in this session, we talked about WAF, the web application firewall to protect against what we call SQL injection, layer seven attacks or XSS. And then the other one was the shield, which protects against the DDoS attacks. And we have two levels of protection or two types of protection the standard shield that comes at no additional cost and uh, the advanced shield that we can have. With this, thank you so much for watching. I hope now this is clear. If you have any question, please put it for us in the comments and I see you in the next video. Thank you so much.